in this video we're going to go for a walk around this fabulous suburb which is called Chong Notsi. Now there's many different sections to the whole suburb, I'm going to call it a suburb, uh, an area of Bangkok. But uh, we're just going to focus on a couple of little streets here where we're going to find lots of uh, food eateries and the time is uh, 11 o'clock so it's prior to lunchtime so it might be a little bit quieter however I've purposely chosen this so we're not interrupting people as they're uh, coming out of their offices to eat so let's go for a walk and see what we can find together just so you know where we are Chong Notsi is where the Mahanakon is the tallest building in Bangkok and the BTS for Chong Notsi is just here if you don't know what this area is, this is uh, like the business district of Bangkok. You're going to find a lot of uh, the big businesses here. You can see right in front of us at Sathorn Square, Cannon, Ford, Bico, some other names I don't know. And some really tall, beautiful looking buildings. And you can see uh, the BTS train that'll take you down to the river that way. Here's a look at one of the major intersections. See how you can walk across it. You certainly don't want to be uh, trying to cross the road here. It's so clean, like if you're not going to see any cigarette butts, virtually no rubbish at all anywhere. It's quite amazing. A city of 10 million and how, uh, how clean it can be kept. You can see all the office buildings poking out as we walk along. And look at this structure, isn't that beautiful? I want to come back here at night when all the lights are on. There's so many different paths within Chonnotsi to, to walk around. I've walked a couple of them, which I haven't shot yet. I was just sort of sussing it out. And I thought I might get out this morning and just go for a quick look see. I love Bangkok, absolutely love it. I suppose it'd be different if I lived here permanently, but uh, I've been here a month already and I'm not sick of it. You see the trains, the service here is just Unbelievable. A train just comes every few minutes. Uh, my accommodation's just down the other end. Tops Market. You won't, be, uh, you won't be lost for food choices in this area. There is just so much exceptional food. Okay. As I say, it's, um, it's just gone after 11, so it's pretty quiet. And as I say, I've purposely done this so I don't uh, interrupt people racing down here. But look at the size of this food court. It's massive, isn't it? Yeah, so look, you're looking at uh, crispy egg, noodle and gravy, 85, that's about $3.50 or something like that. Oh, the smell is making me hungry and I had a massive breakfast, hey? Oh, that looks very nice. Mm, look at that chili. Oh, Roy, Mark, Mark. Saudi Carp. Oh. Yeah. It's 
วัสดีครับ <laughs> This one is chicken. Gay. All right, let's keep going down this way. Got the motorbike taxis waiting for a fare. Now there used to be an outdoor market, and I think it's down here. And as I say, this is only just one side of. Uh, oh, hang on, this bloke wants to say hello. s a d i k a p we got the gardener. Kuna k u n c h u a r a i Uh, p o m c h u s a m o n i n d i t i r a r u j a k Okay, you have a good day. k a p Okay. k o p a m a k r a b Yes, as I was saying, uh, this is only just one section of this whole area, and I'd, I'd need a lifetime here to to shoot all of this. There's just so much to see. The uh, the business district stretches this way, that way, and the other way. And I'm only here for a few days uh, in this area, so I'll just shoot what I can, which leaves room to come back for another time, I reckon. Hey, oh, Saudi car! The gang's here; they're all ready to go. Oh, he's, he's got that. <laughs> oh, these guys are cool. i n d i t i r a r u j a k Yes, happy days. Thank you. How do you fancy a quickie? What do you reckon? I'll swing around. Milkshakes, burgers, sandwiches, fried chicken, quickie. Okay, everyone's coming out for lunch. They're early. They must have started early today. I was thinking, oh, I'll just make this a, a short video. I, look, unfortunately, <laughs> it's just going to be long. But you know what? Shoot it once. Shoot it properly. You don't have to come back and do it again. So hopefully, you have a nice beverage, whatever that may be. See all your uh, your pre-made lunch boxes here. See, that's uh, pretty good. You know, looking at uh, 50 baht for that. It's pretty good. Oh, that all looks good too. This is the problem. Is uh, yeah, I want to stop and look at everything, but this video will probably go for three or four hours. Okay, let's duck into here and see what we have. Oh, this is nothing like a. I might have come in the wrong area here. I always thought it was bigger. Oh, I just can't help but just love the smell of the food, even though I'm not hungry. Oh no, no, this is how it was. Just looks a bit different in the middle. Yeah, people are starting to spill in, so it's probably a good time that I came here. At, at when I did, wow, this smells fantastic. Have a look at this. There you go. There's your your tom yum, tom yum, the seafood. Um, you're looking at just over two dollars. Probably two dollars forty. So in Sydney, how much would that set you back for one of those? A lot. Oh, that's really what I feel like. Something really, um, really clear. Look how cheap these T-shirts are. So three dollars for a T-shirt. I do need a couple more T-shirts. That's uh, nice and thin. That's an XL for three dollars. That's. Uh, What do you reckon, orange? I might uh, come back and grab that. Okay, some tailor shops here. Oh, a pharmacy, and it's closed. I do need a pharmacy. I need to buy some more band aids. What's this place called? What are they? What do they sell? Okay. I don't know whether they're selling um, wee tea. Could be. s a d i c a r Lots of nice, uh, fresh-smelling ingredients here. 
I think that's just a back way in to where we've just come. This bloke, he's selling pigs. Money boxes. Wow. Wonder how he goes. Oh, tough day. Tough day. This lady, oh, Ni Ku Rai. Ron, that's shrimp. Gay. Mansari Rat. Which one? Ah, oh, so this is all vegetarian. Okay. Um, Taurai Krab. Ten baht. Okay, Al. Al Nung. All right. All right. Just, just one. Just one. Yeah. 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 It's going to uh, give us some money. So just give me a second. Just, just hang on a second. I've got to put this down. Okay, so I'm definitely going to go back to uh, Shitney, as I call it, Sydney. A lot, a lot heavier, but I don't care. Um, yeah, I just bought a stack load of food and see how it goes. Oh, I found somewhere to sit. We'll go sit with the uh, with the with the, the guy's Sadi car. I might just go sit here. Uh, Katutna, is that okay? Yeah. I know you don't want to see me eat food, so I'll just try and try and not do it. But I noticed she slipped some pork in there. That's the problem. The ties. Uh, I shouldn't blame the ties, but they don't understand that um, you're vegetarian because they still think you eat meat. And if you say you're uh, Ben Mansari Rup, they think you're vegan. So therefore they won't sell you anything. So you have to just take a chance. There's a little side alley there. I just want to go back and show you. We're just out front of the Empire Palace. It's a little bit early, but I'll just take you down. It's a little alleyway that serves food. They're still setting up through here. I'm actually after a drink. Saudi carp, look what he's got. He's got uh, fresh fish. Just about to salt that up and, and do what he does. I used to love fish when I was a meat eater. Absolutely loved it. Yeah, so they're all just setting up here at the moment. Um, I won't interrupt this lady. But I just want to see if I can get any further, and I can't. Yeah. Look at this beautiful old wall, will you? Anyone would think it needs a renovation. To me, that's art. Straight onto the coals, look at that. As we walked past before, this is the Empire. More apartments over there. Rhythm, that's what that one's called. Rhythm. I think I looked at that for a, a short stay. We're just going to walk down here. Ah, uh, there used to be another market here, like a proper open-air market. Let's go for a walk and have a look. I reckon I spend anywhere between two to five hours a day walking. <laughs> Just walking. I prefer to walk and catch a train. Catch a train and walk, then you've got to come all the way home. I shoot as much as I can, a lot of it doesn't make it. But uh, I get to see things differently than than catching a, a tuk-tuk or a, a taxi. Couldn't make rule wah delat yuti nai. Delat yuti nai. Delat yuti nai. Delat. 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 Then me? Uh, man, no delat. Man dong. Delat. 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 Yeah. Delat. 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 Okay. Copper mark up. Yep. I just think it's amazing how you could just go from absolute opulence to absolute 
poverty in the space of one block but that's what's happening here and this is where the markets were and I don't think they're here anymore looks like it's become a car park yeah it's a car park that's a shame it's too far out of the business district see uh, there is a food hall here Uh, call Nam Kuwait, please. Call, call, na, call uh, Nam. 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 Copper Mark Crab. Okay. <laughs> okay, need to find the bin. <laughs> I absolutely love Bangkok. I don't know, the more I walk around, the more places I stay in, I'm just, I'm falling in love with it. And yes, I'm on a holiday and, you know, I guess I'm on my honeymoon period still, but. Uh, the areas that I've moved into and stayed for a week or, you know, some places I've stayed a little bit longer, you know, have really inspired me with uh, what sort of life you could have here and, you know, every place I've been to so far, you can have quite a comfortable existence. Now, of course, this means you need to have money, doesn't it? You know, if I had a YouTube channel that uh, had a bit of success, you know, you could survive off that, making, making videos. A lot of hard work though, a lot of hard work. I spend a lot of time every day. I'm exhausted, I'm in bed most days by about 7, 7.30. Just with the sheer amount of walking and in the editing, um, it really takes it out of you. But um, I love Bangkok for its uh, eclecticness, is that a word? <laughs> its randomness, its different classes, different classes of, uh, of life, rich, poor, indifferent. I'll probably sit in the indifferent mob. Mind you, I'm slowly going broke. Uh, you know, I'm chewing through my savings. Being here in Bangkok. Trying to live the dream of um, resurrecting this channel. But, loving it.